Hello everyone, welcome back to Financier Pro YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about what is a good credit score. Your credit influences every area of your life. It's like breathing, literally. A good credit score means lower rates for your cars, credit cards, mortgages, and a few types of insurance. Employers also use credit scores to make hiring and advancement decisions. This video will help you understand what a credit score is and what a good or bad score means. Basically, a credit score is a number that shows your likelihood of repaying debts. This number helps creditors decide on whether to give you credit or not even the terms of the credit itself. For instance, your bank uses your score to see if you qualify for a mortgage and decide on the rate. The higher the score, the lower the interest rate. Credit bureaus calculate the scores using their internal algorithms. These scores depend on your financial actions, both present and past, how you pay your debt, amount of the debt you owe in the period you have had credit are some of the biggest factors considered your credit score keeps on changing depending on your actions simply put creditors sell your financial information to credit bureaus and the bureaus use the information to come up with your score this score is like a grade of your financial responsibility New creditors use the credit score to determine your likelihood of repayment. There are many types of credit scores, but the one that really counts is the FICO score. The FICO score ranges from 300 to 850. Others include PLUS score. It was developed by Experion. That ranges from 330 to 830. Trans Risk Score, TransUnion developed this score and it ranges from 100 to 900. Equifax Score, it ranges from 280 to 2850. Vantage Score, unlike the three models above mentioned, lenders use the Vantage Score sometimes, but the FICO score is the real score you want to certainly keep up with. Like I said, that ranges from 300 to 850. The credit you want to obtain and the interest rate that you would prefer are determining factors on whether your score is good or bad. For a small loan, multiple score ranges are good. Mortgage lenders, however, will require a score of at least 640. Here are the general range points. 781 and above are excellent credit. 661 to 780 is good credit. 601 to 660 is fair credit. 501 to 600 is poor credit. 500 and below are really bad credit. Landlords will require that you have a credit score of no less than 620. Otherwise, you will have to get a cosigner. Alternatively, you might be forced to pay a huge deposit. Average new car rate is 740 super prime 2.70%. 680 score to 739 is prime. That's like a 3.67%. 620 credit score to 679, non prime, 5.49%. 550 credit score to 619 is sub prime. That's where you get the auto sub prime lenders. Uh, coming down on you with those high interest rates. 550 is really a deep prime. Really watch out for this when your credit score is 550 or less. Most lenders would not finance you if your credit score is less than 640. For the best mortgage rates, aim for a score of 720 or higher. Now those other subprime credit scores I was talking about were for uh, auto lenders you won't be able to get a uh, house or, or probably even an apartment in a good area with a 500 credit score. For the best rates and a lot of perks, aim for excellent credit 700 and above. A score of 640 and above can also get you a decent credit card. The behavior of a consumer is prone to change. When a company makes an inquiry, what they get is a snapshot of your situation. 
When you open a charge account, miss a payment, or pay your debt, your score changes. The credit score is like a roller coaster. It goes up and down. Although the number keeps changing, you need to know what your score is at a time and how you can increase it. That's it, everyone. Please subscribe to Financial Pro YouTube channel. See you next time.